Yo, what's going on YouTube? I'm back at it again. With the white man. It's your boy Q. Before we get started, if you guys could do me a favor and hit that like button, just because it helps push this video to more people that actually want to see it. And also, if you guys could subscribe, just because like half you guys are not subscribed yet. And once we hit 10K, I got something real special planned for you guys. So stay tuned for that. And also, if you can follow me on Instagram, just because that is my most used social media. And it's by far where I stay up to date the most. And if you guys want to see what I'm doing, that's going to be where you're going to want to be. And one very last thing, if you guys want any of the sounds or kits that I use in this video, head over to quintinbobbit.com. You can find the link in the description, but that's where I have all my kits available. But enough talking, let's actually get into the video. So you guys might have noticed that SSG Kobe just dropped his new song, M.I.A., which is honestly one of my favorite songs out right now. And I'm telling you, this wave of Rage Style Beats is not going away anytime soon. And yeah, basically, that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be showing you guys how I would make a beat like MMA for SSG Kobe. We're going to be doing something in the style of like that rage, super melodic and EDM inspired loop. And we're going to do that and then make a beat behind it. Oh, also, I forgot to mention before, but I did start a Discord server. So if you guys want to join and just talk to me and some of the other producers in the community, you can always do that. The link's available in the description below. But yeah, let's actually jump into FL and make this beat. All right, so right off the bat, you can tell the entire stack that I use here is all serum. And also take note, the BPM is 175. So this is pretty fast, but it also has like kind of that slow vibe to it. So once I actually start showing you guys everything, you'll you'll get a feel for it. Basically, what we did here is if we have a head over to the piano roll for the main uh, chord progression right here, it's literally only two chords just with a big stack. Uh, as you can see, it is just a simple triad with the bass note brought down here. So we got this this triad right here, an A minor triad. Uh, by the way, it is in the scale of A minor, which is just all the white notes. And uh, basically what I did was just add this top B note right on top. And then I also brought down this bass note and then for this triad right here, it's an E minor triad, I believe. And then we just also brought that bass note down and brought the E all the way up as well. Something I want you guys to take note of is for these type of beats, you all you don't have to do super complex chord progressions and super complex melodies. You kind of want to you want to let the plugin and the sound selection take care of that. Basically, what I did, I was just looking for something in Serum. I actually was in this bank by Cymatics. I believe this is free. Yeah, it's just their starter pack, and it's called Chord. And I was just, I was playing around with it, just listening to how it sounds. And it's just like, it's super full and just, it has like a really like big sounding effect to it. So I was like, you know what? Yeah, this is uh, something I'm going to want to make a chord with. And it's kind of funny that it's called chord or it is apparently in the category of chord, which I don't even know what that means, but whatever. Let me just show you guys what it sounds like. So uh, let's go to the pattern and uh, yeah, so this is what these two chords sound like. <laughs> So as you can see, what I was saying about this being 175 BPM, but kind of feeling a little slow, it's because these chords have so much room in between. And I've noticed that's something that is really important in these Rage Style beats is building a lot of tension. And when you have these huge chords play and then leave a lot of room in between the next one, it really adds a lot of tension to it, which is just super important for these style of beats, just because it makes it sound super like active. And like just something's going to happen, which is exactly what you want to be doing for this, these rage style beats. And then obviously we got to fill this out. So the first thing I was doing, I was just looking for something to fill out like in between. And um, I found this sound in Serum again. Let's see. It's this lead. Sounds like this. It's kind of weird. Um, but basically what I did is I played just the triad that I was playing in that chord. And I kind of stacked it really weird where it's just kind of like strummed. And it sounds like this. It's kind of just like some ear candy in the background and basically the effects that i had on this was just a simple eq pulling out a lot of that low end some of that high end then an imager just to widen it a bit and what i was trying to do here is like i said fill out the sound that those original chords couldn't and when you play those two together you get this so yeah it kind of just sits in the background and uh fills up that gap that the chords didn't play next thing i did was just add a lead and this is the part that I was trying to really make sound like that SSG Kobe song. So I was looking for something that kind of sounded like a whistle. Found this lead in Serum again. Like I said, everything's in Serum. Kind of has like that whistle sound. I just played something super simple. I kind of like hummed a melody in my head. And that's also something you guys should really do too. So when you're making melodies like this, once you get your chord progression down and you're trying to figure out how to make this top melody on top of that chord progression, Try and like hum something out in your head or like picture what you think would happen next. But anyways, this is what I ended up playing.
But yeah, and then when you play the chord progression and that little filler, and then the lead to all together, you get this. And then at that point, I was pretty much satisfied with what we had so far, but I found another sound again in Serum. Uh, we had this bell by this bank right here, Vendor. I don't even know where I got that from, but uh, it's just a super simple bell. Played a super repetitive pattern. And again, it's just kind of something to fill out the space in the background. And everything together ended up sounding like this. So yeah, at that point I was satisfied with what we had. So then all I did was something that you want to do with all of your loops. This will help, especially like if you're sending loops out, this is something you're always going to want to do. Because honestly, it's gotten to the point where I forgot there's actually one thing I missed. I wanted to do this little transition, so I duplicated that serum uh instance that we had with the lead this one right here and made a super simple pattern where i just follow the bass notes and this is just for a transition so once we go into like the verse it's just a little more open but it sounds like this yeah so but basically what i was saying is when you're sending out loops you always want to stem out your sound so just play each individual sound separately and I always leave just a extra bar of room in between just so any uh, any tail that's on the end of that, like any reverb or delay, could just stay in there in case I want to do something with it. But And then we render that out. And I already rendered it out, so I'm just save that. And we're going to open a new one, and we're going to start on the drums. So I'm going to go to my loops folder, which I have pulled up right over here. Go to July. And we'll just bring in the wave version right here. Change the BPM to 175. Boom. And then, like I was saying before, we have the stems in here. So we'll just cut it up. Boom, boom, boom. And we delete the gaps in between. Stack that up. Mix it up a little bit, but we're good. And then we could just go to the first one, click track out, and it'll actually bring all the sounds there because it's all the same sound just split up. And then what we're going to do is go and add a Fruity Parametric EQ. Go to the third preset and just pull this band up just so when we get that 808 going, there's no low end that interferes with the 808. <laughs> And then we're just going to set this up a little bit. So in the intro, I'm going to take this out because we want this to come in with the verse. And so we're going to go like this. Boom. And then uh, so we're going to take that out. Then we're going to take this out and that out right there. And then I'm also going to add an automation clip for that pretty parametric EQ taking out the bass. Just so in the intro, we actually do have the bass because we want the bass in the intro. So it'll be like this. <laughs> Perfect. And I'm going to go to this section right here. And actually what I'm going to do as well is just turn this down a bit. But also something, I actually don't see this a lot. In these Rage style beats, I've noticed the melodies are really, really loud to the point where it starts interfering with the drums. And what I mean by that, it's basically causing a little bit of distortion, like with the high end, a little bit with like the hi hats. Uh, there's probably some with the 808 and stuff. But with these Rage beats, it's something that they actually, like you actually want to hear. You want that distortion, that warm distortion. Because as long as you have a clipper on your master, Odds are it's going to sound good pretty much no matter what, as long as it's not something that's just ridiculously distorted. Yeah, what we're going to do here is just add in a pattern. We're going to bring it out for eight bars. And we're going to go over to my drum kit, full circle. You guys already know where to go. Quintababa.com. You can grab that if you want. You can grab the multi-kit or the drum kit itself. Drum kit's called Euphoria. Multi-kit's called Full Circle. But uh, we're going to start out with a clap here. Like this one right here. And we're going to use my default clap pattern. We're gonna add a little hi-hat. So I like this one, and then we're just gonna fill each two steps for now. Let's see if we could add like some super simple rolls. I don't wanna make it too complex right now. Yeah, so I like that for now, just adding a little bit of like an accent on top. We're just going to duplicate that over. We might change it a bit later, but for now, we're just going to try and find a cool bounce. So we're going to add a snare. Change this to half step. I like that. I like that. Duplicate that over. Basically, what we're going to do here is actually bring this up. 
have a snare drop and velocity. Sounds like this now. And we'll just duplicate that over. Go with the, uh, so we do a little perker room. Oh yeah, I like this. All right, so we're gonna try some here. So one thing you can do is when you have a wave like this, you hit Control Alt C on your keyboard to consolidate it. And what we're gonna do here is take this tick off of enable insert effects because we don't want that. We're gonna hit start and this is gonna render it out. Three weeks later. Cool, so now we can delete this one and we're actually going to just delete this track. And then basically what I was gonna do is just bring the pitch down. Let's see how this sounds. Oh, and then we have to track it out because there's a lot of bass in there. I actually don't like that, you know? So. Cool, so yeah, now I think it's time for the 808. So I'm gonna be using this one for my kit. Basically just a nice day 808. Uh, but I have this one for my kit right here called Add Add Add. And we're just gonna drag that in. First thing I'm gonna do is hit cut itself. I'm gonna go to the envelope settings and make it look like this. Basically hold all the way up, everything else all the way down. This is just so we could do some uh, cool tricks with the 808. Just uh, the 808 will only play for as long as the note is held. But uh, so yeah, let's do this. So one quick tip for making your 808s sound in key is if the loop you're using does not have the actual key in the name or the title, what you can do is just go into your 808. For example, we could just start at C. I'll bring it up an octave, maybe two octaves. You can tell right away that C doesn't sound right. And you could hit shift up here on your keyboard to go to C sharp. Basically, it brings it up a semitone. Still doesn't sound right. And I just keep doing this until the note sounds like it's supposed to be in key. And we'll just keep going up. That A sounds good. But we already knew that. But basically, that's what I do for uh, loops that I'm using that aren't mine when I don't know the actual key. And then we'll just duplicate that over. Pretty simple pattern for now. Yeah, actually, I'm going to stick with that. That was a little too complicated. Like this. So we're actually going to bring this 808 up to distort it a little bit more. Oops, too much. Let's see if we can do something a little cool here. Actually, you know what? Let's add a, uh, go back to my drum kit here and we're gonna go to the open hat. Try this one right here. Try something like this, but we're gonna bring it up a few semitones. And now we're just gonna go ahead and arrange this a little bit. So I want the intro to be everything like this. Oh, yeah. All right. So I got an idea. And then for this part right here, I'm going to make a new pattern. We're going to call it bass. Drag it in. Make it eight bars long. And then I'm going to cut this right here. And I'm just going to duplicate this over for now because I already know I want it to repeat right there. Let's see. We're at 115. And then we're, du we're going to duplicate this entire part over, I believe. Let's see. Yeah. But what we're going to do here is take this out and we're going to have just the bass be the bridge. Cool. Yeah. So we actually have to bring this down an octave. And then we're gonna just mix this a bit. Got to get this over as well. I done made a band, bitch. I'm even passing. <laughs> bitch, I don't rest you. Told that bitch to kick it, I be fasting. I can't even understand these women, I be lying. Told her that she dead, but I be riding on this bike. Man, I took myself for nothing, and I made me into something. I just made this bitch, now I be flipping on her. Recipe, turn me up, turn me down and then up. I lost myself to nothing, then I turned myself to something. Now she wanna run me, all these women want me hurt. She can say I'm crazy, but I said, bitch, we in public. Sucking on that thing like she been running through the buckets. 
Man, I lost myself and I'm back to nothing Told my bitch that she want nothing to do I don't wanna talk, bitch, I've been going to school School you like this shit like I've been hurt, man Man, I tell myself to nothing into something Why she wanna write about me like we in public? I just told that bitch that she could settle down for nothing Turn me up, I'm back to breaking rules like I be uh, yeah. Fucking on this bitch and I be riding on this uh, She just told me that I'm really good and I be flipping with the wrist, 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 wrist dancing Fucking bitches and I'm motherfucking passing Man, my bro said that I'm rich as fuck Man, these diamonds on my wrist, they be Rich as fuck and everybody said I'm stupid but I did it for nothing Riding on this bitch and now she said that we in public huh. Fucking on this bitch and she my next one huh. You don't run up, I don't want nothing to do With nothing that you ever say and what you do Diamonds looking blue and they pink, but they be Man, I'm rapping through this shit in my Jeep I be fucking on this bitch and it's cheap Man, these diamonds ain't cheap I be fucking on this bitch and I be beating my meat I was never anything when I had nothing to do Now I'm fucking on these bitches like I'm running a zoo I got everything I wanted, why you nothing to you? I didn't keep me a fucking little, I keep me a two I be blasting you up, fucking you down I just took your little bitch and I be acting a clown I'ma fool with this shit, I'ma ride with a gun I'ma shoot you fucking none of you be talking for fun Alright guys, but that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed this one. I actually really like how this beat turned out. So yeah, if you guys actually did enjoy this video or like it at all, you know, just hit that like button for me. It really helps me out a lot. And hit that subscribe button too if you want to watch more videos from me. But you guys already saw the intro. I don't want to repeat myself too much. So yeah, just be ready for the next video. I'll be back soon and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye.